everybody, Jessica here, and today I just wanted to quickly share with you a little tip to help you modify moves like burpees or mountain climbers or similar higher impact movements that you might be finding in some workouts, including mine, that may not be working for you. So all you need to do this is a sturdy chair. If you're on a, floor, a smooth surface like I am, I recommend putting a mat underneath it so it really stays in place and doesn't slide on you. So you're gonna put your body weight on it. If you're on carpet, you should be fine. Make sure you're not using a chair with wheels. Peanut, you're gonna, thank you. So we're gonna start off, easy way to modify burpees. If you're standing in front of it, you're gonna squat down, put your hands underneath your shoulders, jump or walk your feet back, come back in and lift. So if you can't go all the way to the ground, this is a nice way to still do something that's similar, but allows you to stay up a little bit higher, take some of the pressure off the wrists and the hands, and you can work on developing your strength and your speed on the chair until you're ready to try it a little bit lower. If the chair feels a little bit too easy, try something even closer to the floor, like a sturdy apple box or something similar to that. Same thing for mountain climbers, you're just gonna take your feet back. Of course, Pina is now in my trajectory. And we're gonna bring the knees in real quick, and you can do a mountain climber this way too. Some other movements that you can modify on the chair, tuck jumps. You see, if you're not quite ready to do a nice big jump off the floor, a little too high impact, lean back, tuck it up fast as you can. It's a little different emphasis here. Yes, you're gonna work the abs a little bit more, but that's not a bad thing, right? And it's better than just kind of standing there not knowing exactly what to do instead of a tuck jump. So that's another alternative that you can use. Same thing here, if you're seated on the chair and you wanna modify running, you can do that here as well. Nice and light, no impact at all. Great little ab exercise. You're gonna work your hip flexors too, but that may help you keep your heart rate up. So I hope that this helps you just a little bit. The next time you do a high intensity workout, make sure you don't have to stop moving at all try something different remember we're all about making it work for you so find a way to make that happen and get a great workout in i'll see you at our next routine guys